And here we have our first homework session for the linear algebra in 2D course. The first homework will cover vectors and matrices, linear maps and linear equations. In the first exercise you're just supposed to play around with vectors a little bit, so I'm giving you three vectors in their coordinate form here and just compute this linear combination of the three vectors, 2x minus 3y plus z, and compute the norms of the vector x plus y, and compute the sum of the norms of the vectors x and y. Now, we keep those three vectors from exercise 1 and introduce a few matrices, a, b, c, and d, and just play around with the matrix vector product a little bit, compute a times y and minus a times z, and also compute AB, the matrix product A times B, compare this with the matrix product B times A, and compute the product of all four matrices A, B, C, D. Again, X, Y, and Z from the first exercise, and now the task is to represent the third vector, Z, this one, as a linear combination of X and Y. So write vector z is a linear combination of these two here. That is, find scalars such that lambda times x plus mu times y equals z. Exercise 4. Here you just check which of the following four maps are actually linear. Phi 1, phi 2, phi 3 and phi 4. And they all take a 2D vector as input, as you can see, and output another 2D vector given by the respective equations here and your job is to find out which one of these are linear and which one are not. Exercise 5. E1 and E2 denote the canonical basis vectors, so the one with entries 1, 0 and this one with entries 0, 1. And now we have a linear map about which we only know that it maps the first canonical basis vector to the vector 2 minus 1 and it maps the second canonical basis vector to the vector minus 1 minus 1. Now your task is compute phi of x for this vector here if all you have is this information. Exercise 6. So here you have to Look at the chapter 2, where we talked about rotations and reflections. Now, the matrix R index pi 6 represents the counterclockwise rotation about the origin by the angle pi divided by 6, and I want you to state the matrix for this rotation, this matrix R index pi 6. Also state the inverse matrix of this rotation. So the one that reverses the rotation. We haven't talked about inverses yet, but uh, so this is the matrix that undoes the rotation that's done by this one. If you can't make any sense of this expression, then just wait for chapter four of the course where we will discuss this. Now, sigma denotes the reflection about the axis passing through the origin at an angle pi divided by 6 with the E1 axis. So this is the axis spanned by the first canonical basis vector, and we have this axis which encloses the angle pi 6 with this axis. And now determine the matrix S which represents this reflection here. And you should look at chapter 6, how we did that, how such computations can be done, and then yeah, together with part A and B, I hope you can figure that out. And finally, just solve this system of linear equations. So 3 times x1 plus 2 times x2 equal 2 is the first equation, and minus 2x1 minus x2 equal minus 1 is the second equation. Draw the lines that are determined by these two equations, 1 and 2. Then state the extended matrix for this system of equations and finally determine the set of solution for this system of equations. And in chapter 3 you will learn everything you need to do this.